Hi guys. Today we're going to be having a look at VR settings or the VR settings I use for a set of Corsa and I use these within Content Manager. So if you haven't installed Content Manager, please take a look at this video which will explain how to install it first. So with that done, let's go into the settings that we have in a set of Corsa Content Manager. So once we've got Content Manager loaded up, we want to go to Settings, Assetto Corsa, and then Video. From here, we want to make sure that we've got OpenVR as our rendering mode, and we are running full screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. We don't have fixed resolution or vertical sync, but we do have rate limit of 90 FPS. We then have quality of MSAA 4X and Stropic Filtering 16, maximum world detail, 2048 shadows, smoke generation high. We make sure we see smoke in the mirrors. We have reflections of high resolution with only four faces. We have high for all of the pro post processing. We enable the effects. We turn motion to blur down to four. We have sun rays disabled because that really causes us some massive problems when we have that enabled. We don't have FXAA enabled, but we keep on the heat shimmer. We have our mirrors on a reasonable resolution, 256 by 1024 and high quality. And then we leave the rest on default, which is a skybox of 150, mid max bias zero. So my lower quality settings that I also use, if you find the, the ones I've provided are a bit high, they reduce MSAA to 2X. We have high quality world detail rival than max. We reduce our shadow res to 512 square, smoke generation to medium. Reflections again down to 512 square and static. We switch off motion blur and then the rest of the settings are as with our other. This I find gives me a smoother frame rate when I'm streaming. The shaders are a little hard to show on here, but I do have them enabled and I have them set up so they work reasonably well with VR. Sun rays cause some problems with the graphic adjustment shader. So I've disabled sun rays in here. You might be able to get them working, but I just thought it was too much effort for very little uh, benefit. Grass effects actually adds quite an immersive um, difference to the game, which is why that's enabled. And graphics adjustment wise, I've disabled post-processing anti-aliasing just to try and reduce the burden on the GPU there. For Yebis post-processing, I've got all the options disabled for first-person mode. Particle FX is enabled with soft particles and a lot of other settings disabled. I'll provide all of these settings as a configuration so you can just download the ini file and use that as a preset uh, obviously you can make adjustments for your own liking but it'll give you the settings that i use and uh, because it's such a complex activity it's easier for me to just give you the file rather than try and show you on screen the last bit for us to edit is the steam vr settings so in general we want to make sure we've got 80 hertz as the refresh rate then we want to click on video per application video settings, select a set of Corsa, put it on 150 for the custom resolution multiplier, custom scale down to 97 and leave the other settings as default. You can change motion smoothing if you wish, but I just leave it as my global settings or enabled. And that's it. Now we can go into game. So in-game, these settings give you a good balance between 
visual fidelity and frame rate. What I'm aiming it for here is to always be running at around 80 to 90 FPS, usually a little bit higher than that, but I've locked down the FPS to 90. And that gives me a nice feel for cars like the Skip Barber, which are much more sensitive to, or at least my driving is much more sensitive to the frame rate. So that hopefully is a good indication for your needs. I am running a high spec Ryzen R9 5900X with a 3080 GPU. You might have better, you might have worse. So make sure you adjust those settings for your needs. I've obviously provided my streaming setup as well, and that's slightly lower spec, so that might give you more room to maneuver if you are running something of lower spec than what I've just mentioned. So hopefully that's given you guys enough information to be able to experiment a little more with the settings and feel for a set of Corsa. With some of the mods installed like Grass FX and Real Mirrors, you really start to feel like you're more immersed in your environment. I have quite substantial hardware, so that will obviously play a part in things, but usually I'm running, when I'm streaming, I have to run with lower settings to make sure that I am capable of running a decent frame rate. So hopefully with grass effects enabled and with the real mirrors enabled, you feel that real immersion in place in, when you're racing in VR in Azeta Corsa, and hopefully you're enjoying your experience. So if you did like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If not, please leave some comments below. Well, leave comments below anyway. Feedback's always awesome. And subscribe to the channel. Goodbye for now.